Hello, so today we're going to create a state-of-the-art transformer in less than five minutes. So we're going to call this model Nirvana, and it's going to have multi-groups, uh, query attention, and plus using a feed forward. All right, so this is how we're going to create a state-of-the-art transformer in less than five minutes using PyTorch and Zeta. Um, so this will be... This will be a multi-series. Um, this will be a multi-series uh, video on how to create um, transformers from scratch. So here we're going to use. Um, which one was it? Yeah. And then we're going to import feed forward. So we're going to make a transformer block. Um, so a transformer block is really a couple things. Um, it is a, a tension and a feed forward. Um, but there's other things you can add to that. You could add like um, you could add uh, uh, layer normalization to stabilize training, um, and a bunch of other things. You'd also add emotes to the um, the feed forward, but here we're only going to have, um, we're going to add just attention and a feed forward. So here we're just initializing some stuff. Um, now we're going to initialize um, the attention. So this takes in an input of dimension, heads, and that's basically it. Um, we can also add some arguments here to make this simple. So here we have the feed forward. Um, this takes an input of, let's see, dim, dim out, which is going to be the dimension that has as an output. Um, we're also going to activate uh, swish here. Swish is an activation function. Um, post act layer norm. So we're going to normalize the post activation. Um, generally, norm uh, layer norms um, reduce training instability. So just by initializing the norm, we can do something like that. Um, and then we're ready to create the forward pass. So first here we um, conduct the attention. Um, actually, let's normalize it first. So this, this is just going to add um, stability. Then here we are going to um, we're going to apply the attention. Now this attention outputs a couple of things, so we're going to specify some of the outputs. Um, then FFN. Um, and another common practice is to create a skip, um, skip connections and residuals. Um, so here we would add, we would add the skip, which is just the original. Um, so here we have the second skip, then the FFN. Um, wow, I'm a really bad programmer. No, I'm kidding. Um, so then here we're adding the second residual um, to the output, and that's basically it. Now we're going to call this model Nirvana. It's also going to be a PyTorch module. Um, we'll just copy the initialization to make this easy, and we'll add a couple more um, parameters, such as def. We're going to initialize that to eight. Num tokens, which is the size of the vocabulary. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. So we're going to initialize these uh, variables. And um, so we also, to transform um, tokens, we need to transform tokens into, um, we need to transform tokens into uh, embedding. So that's the, we, we use the embedding. Um, and then we just do this. Um, then we have the layers, and then 
We're running up on time here. In almost five minutes. Actually, no, that's not going to be a sensor. So here we're going to embed the um, the tokens to transform into um, tensors and then we're going to apply the blocks to um, and that's pretty much it um, so here we're going to create a random or random uh, integer we're going to initialize the model um, and then we're going to try and run it and see if it works um, now there's a couple ways to know if a model works. Um, a model should be outputting, like here we um, we need to output the um, the token, the logits, and so basically what this is is like all the probabilities should be adding up to um, one. And that's how like the model predicts the next token. And so basically the output head here is gonna take these outputs and transform them into they're gonna it's gonna it's gonna add up to one. So um, this is gonna make all the uh, like the tension value is gonna add up to one. Um, and so basically here what we're doing is we created a transformer block, which is attention, v forward and some normalizations and residuals. Um, now, in the next block here, what we did is um, we, we're embedding tokens, we're taking integers, and we're transforming those integers into tensors with this, with an nn dot embedding. And that takes in the number of tokens in the vocabulary of the tokenizer. And then here, we are creating a list of blocks. So for the number of range in depth, which is the like the number of blocks, we are going to create a list of layers. And so these layers are the layers in a transformer. And so for layer and self layers, we're gonna apply the um, layer to the input. And then after that, after they're finished, we're gonna apply an output head to calculate the probabilities of all the outputs. And they're gonna add up to one. Um, and so this is how you build a transformer in five minutes. Um, there's, oh, there's an error here. Okay, simple error to fix. Um, since this is outputting a, um, since this is outputting a uh, tuple, we have to just create the variable and then add it afterwards. Um, but this is pretty much done. You could train this right now and have a model. Like if you had a good data set, you could probably make this llama uh, llama level scale. Um, like it would be pretty good as llama because llama is using um, Nama is losing multi-grouped query attention and multi-query attention. So um, this is basically Llama's architecture right here um, in Zeta primitives and PyTorch from scratch. And so there you go. It's outputting the shape of the token. Now if we print the tensor, just the tensor and its values, um, then uh, we're gonna see like all the tokens will add up to one. Um, now the next steps for this is just generally like, um, we're gonna clean this up, add some documentation. Copilot's really, really good for this. I, I suggest always adding documentation um, to every class, like you see. So those values are gonna add up to um, one, and that's how we know the model's working. So after this video, we're gonna make a simple video on how to train this on a llama data sets. Um, so here are the document, we're just adding documentation. Always add documentation to classes. Um, just use Copilot if you're too lazy to do this, but always, always, always add documentation. Um, I'm gonna post this uh, link inside the YouTube and also uh, join the Agora Discord. Uh, we implement a lot of models. We implemented more than 400 models in the past year. And this year we're probably gonna make more than that. So uh, we implement models from research papers and just generally make models um, easier and better to run. And we also provide members uh, free compute, GPU clusters, um, if you're working on something cool um, and basically just a train. So if you want to train some models and you have the code ready to go, we can give you some GPUs. Um, and yeah, so this is how to build a state-of-the-art transformer in five minutes using PyTorch and Zeta. The next steps would be just general optimization, like how do you optimize neural networks for training? Um, hence, use a lot of layer normalizations. Um, 
and masking and some, some casual stuff. So we'll go into that next video. And then the third video will be how to actually train this and actually use it. Um, making models is amazing. There's been a lot of papers on how to, like, you could also, instead of here in the transformer block, you can add a mixture of experts instead of a feed forward. So um, you can do that, or um, you just have a feed forward. This is a just basic practice now. Um, mixture of experts is a little bit more experimental, um, but it's quite popular for some reason, um, even though it's not as good as this architecture. Um, and then there's also the mixture of desk paper that came out yesterday, which we're currently implementing, so stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, this is how to use uh, PyTorch and Zeta to create a model in five minutes. Um, we actually did do it in like five minutes and 50 seconds or whatever, but um, yeah. Let me know if, if you think this is cool or how we could um, optimize this. I'd love to hear your suggestions and yeah. Um, join the Discord, um, find the, the Zeta uh, GitHub repo and give it a star, fork it and help contribute to it. We're trying to make the simplest ML framework ever of all time so that anybody, you, me, can build models super fast like this. There's never been a framework that could do this. Um, people just don't know how to build ML frameworks, I guess. But um, we're, we're gonna be the first to build the simplest framework ever with the highest performance. So thanks for your time and uh, yeah, stay around.